welcome to the channel. Enjoy over six years of videos, live streams, and more. And hold on to your butts. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Roger Wilco, please step forward. Do you have anything to say for yourself before we pronounce sentence? Uh... Can't you guys take a joke? Hello everyone! Welcome back to Cyberdam Plays Space Quest 6. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's been a few days. We've, um, uh, yeah, it, it, it's been some time. I, <laughs> I have no other way to put it. Uh, yeah, we've, in the previous episode, we, um, got onto a ship after getting arrested, of course. Of course, uh, it was not, it was not great. <laughs> um, but we put together a, um, a pseudo Roger and uh, the, the guy fell for it apparently <laughs> and uh, yeah we got onto a ship uh, flew over to I forgot the name of the planet <laughs> but we're in a lab right now so let me go ahead and bring up some gameplay um, yeah so um, we collected just now or in the pre end of the episode we collected a Mahdi and let's take a look at it uh, where are you? Ah, Callahan. It's the Callahan Mahdi you scavenged from Delta Berksalon. Berksalon. Yeah, Berksalon 5. I think that's the planet we're on. Okay. Okay, that's good. And, um, so let's see here. So what do we do? Um, oh, oh, that's right. Okay, so we're, we gotta get back to the ship. That's pretty much all we can grab for now. I love the elevator music. It's pretty awesome. It does remind me a little bit of Mass Effect. Um, or maybe... No, no, not really Mass Effect. It, it kind of reminds me of uh, Leisure Sweet Larry. I don't know why. Maybe it's some... Some of the same composers or something. I don't know. It, it, it just fe feels very Leisure Sweet Larry. Um, okay. So we got to get to the docking bay. Okay. The length of time you're in the elevator though, that reminds me of Mass Effect. That's why I was thinking. Yeah, the music could, uh, music does feel very pleasant. Um, okay, so let's get back in our chair. Forgot. Okay. Oh, okay, we just take off immediately. That's how we had to have a little uh, routine before then. Sir, I believe I may be able to tap myself into the PTS and perform a limited set of functions. Oh, very good, PTS? Manuel. PTS? Yes, sir. PTS, the photo triangulation system. It was installed as a crude backup navigational device to the modern navigational computer system. It's what you see before you mount it in the middle view screen. Excellent. Thank you, Manuel. Um, okay. <laughs> I was adjusting the audio a little bit on my mic there. Uh, I think everything is fine. I'll never get used to it, though. Uh, so he said the PTS, right? Okay. Got photo triangulation system online. System marginal 2.0 paragraphs remaining. Okay. You could just say two photographs remaining, but I appreciate that. Um, okay, so what do we do here? Um, do we just take a photograph, like, to start off, or what? Um, oh, 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 there we go. That's right. All right, so we grab that. One of our photographs here. This is the photo taken with the photo triangulation system. Excellent. So, yes, we have to take another one, and then we kind of have to overlap the two, I believe. 
So, okay. Okay, so we got the two photographs taken. We can't get any more. Um, so what do we do here? You peel apart the photo and negative from your first PTS image. Perfect. Okay, so that would be the positive. It's the first positive. First positive, and then we take the... What's wrong with me? You poke there. it and prod it and generally make it... Oh, oh, right. Wrong one. It looks similar because of the... <laughs> Same white specs. You peel oh, apart the photo and negative from the second PTS image. Thank you very much, narrator. I, I collected that much. Um, okay, so we have to put one of the... All right. Uh, that, that, that was the right first step. Okay. So let's see. Um, so the, this is the still the first. It's the first pop. Okay. So we you want, get fingerprint. Oh my goodness. First positive we want to put on. Was it the uh, the second negative? Uh, oh oh oh, that's right. Yeah, that that would get us what we need. Okay, so we want to put. There's the scanner. Okay, that makes more sense now. All right, uh, that was the first positive, and this is the second negative. It's right? the negative. Yes. You. I don't want to poke and prod it. <laughs> That'll mess it up. The uh, PTS is online and working. There we, we go. Can now launch to polysorbate. Perfect. Uh, polysorbate sixty. We that's the planet we um we first traveled to. I remember that much. Uh, where we <laughs> fought Jerkwad and met Elmo again. Uh, so navigation. That system integrity failure. Uh oh. Um. Okay, that was the wrong button to press. <laughs> uh, PTS? Okay. Um, I hope it didn't reverse our progress there. Um, all right. How do we, like, hit travel? <laughs> How do we move? Um, ICD? No? No, no. Already dealt with that. Initiation, probably. Polysorbate 60. There we go. That's where we need to be. Technology confuses me sometimes. So I apologize for that. I know. I should apologize for nothing. Still. That's a loud engine. <laughs> okay. I think we're good. Do, uh, do we just wait? <laughs> is it similar to Space Quest V where we just wait until we reach that location? Hold on. Uh, maybe we just look around. Um, this is the shuttle's cockpit. All the action takes place right here. Excellent. Okay. I'm going to assume we're probably already there. I, I don't see any movement going on here with the stars. What may I do for you, sir? Ah, here we go. Beam me down, Manny. Step over to the transport pad and I will beam you down to the surface of polysorbate. Perfect. I really appreciate that. Oh. Nice. Super hologram. Ooh, what, what's that? Manual tosses you a transport signaler. You can only use this from the place I beam you to. Great. So wherever we land, we need to go back there to uh, beam back up. It's a good thing we'll... Wait, wait, we're not gonna... Okay. <laughs> I was worried he was gonna put us back in the hole. But um, I'm glad they haven't taken care of that yet. <laughs> uh, however, uh, that would mean... Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll have to come back here if we want to beam back up. And I'm pretty sure I know what to do. Let's actually go talk to Fester. Because we might have some something that can uh, buy us what we need for... It was that Cyberjack, right? That we wanted? Hold on. Does he even have one? 
Now you know what happened to the infamous R2 line of droids. They've been reduced to carrying out the most trivial of tasks. Pester's using one for a gen plot blender. Nice. How sad. How the R2 sad? line of droids seemed like the hottest thing going in their day. Then they found that one little flaw in the programming. Unfortunately, the princess's personal life will never be quite the same. My goodness. Okay. Um, well, now that we have the Mahdi, maybe we can uh, get something for it, like that cyberjack we want. Go ahead and look around, partner. I'll be glad to answer any questions you might have about my fine line of merchandise. Yes, sir, have a look. Always. It's kind of cool hearing the voice of Fester. Um, having, you know, having it to read it in the previous game, so, or in Space Quest 3, that is. I, I always like that kind of thing, when they add a voice that you kind of guess <laughs> before the the following game comes out, but you know what I mean. Um, so let's offer him that Mahdi. Callahan. You don't... Hello there, Mr. Blatz. I think I have something you might be interested in. Think so, hey? Yes. Oh, I really think you'll find it interesting. Yes. Ooh! Why, I'd love to take that off your hand. Money, Of course, Buster. you realize that it's illegal to sell those, but I could trade you for something. Look around and see what interests you. I could really use a cyberspace jack. Good we don't have to find it visually. Tell you what, I'll trade you for one of those fine specimens in the case. What do you say? No. No. I want the jack or it's no deal. Oh, now take it easy, Sonny. I think we can do business. Nothing else. Here. Alright, <laughs> that's cool. Ooh. Yes. I'm glad you see it my way. It's, it's been a pleasure. Take care, Fester. I gotta fly. The <laughs> information superhighway. Um, okay, I think that's all we need here. Do we just head back to the pad? I doubt we want to go back to the inn. And uh, having defeated Jerkwad, I'm pretty sure he's still in a rough mood. Do we get anything else in the boot liquor store? Yeah, I don't think so. E.T. is still having a rough time. Okay, let's go back to the original spot. And, uh, poke. Very helpful, I and mean, he doesn't talk too much either. I love it. Okay. My um, sole purpose is to help you, sir. And I appreciate that, Manuel. Um, so we gotta get back to... Oh, wrong button. Offline, of course. Uh, we gotta get back to Delta Burke Salon, I think. Mm. I'm a little scared. Let's do it. Okay, this should be fine. We already have the coordinates. Do they even deal with coordinates anymore at this point in Space Quest? To get back to Polysorbate 60, we just had to <laughs> put two photos together, basically. Careful now, don't drink and fly. Um, okay, let's get out of here. Gotta make use of the space jack. Cyber jack. I guess they just go back to the same lab. Nice. If not, we can always try lab B. But I'm pretty sure we have to just use the space jack over here. 
Take a look at the console. Gee, Dad, it's a North Gateway with five gigabytes of RAM, a molecular memory hard disk with infinite capacity, a dodecaspeed CD-ROM drive, micro-sloth compatible mouse, and a built-in 10K pin laser printer. Just three more gigabytes and you can install OS2 on it. You don't have to be sarcastic all the time, narrator. But I appreciate the the detailed <laughs> description of what I'm looking at. Here we go, Cyberjack. Perfect. You summon the ability to leave it alone. Oh, power would work first. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at some of these. Accounting. All accounting functions are currently down due to blah, 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 blah. Thank you for your patience in this matter. These aren't online yet. Apparently budget isn't a big concern here. Fantastic. Research? All research functions are down until further notice due to insufficient funding. Talk to your local congressperson to complain. Ah, who wants to look at boring old research records? Try something else. Well, you know that I'm not going to get anything from Congress. That, that, that should not have changed over however long it is between modern modern day and this space future. What? <laughs> Plodigy? Oh no. Oh no, I feel like it's dial-up days again. Ah! Open one pixel at a After time. After a click of the screen <laughs> button, Plodigy begins to painfully slowly fill the screen. If they're... Oh, screw it! Even you don't have the time or patience for this. No, I don't. Also, I know they were poking fun at the fact that back then it was impossible to <laughs> load certain images or websites. Almost all images and websites. Um, anything on the internet at a uh, decent speed. But um, the... the Poking fun at it makes even more sense today. Because everything is like quick speed today. So I don't know. It, it, that's funny stuff. Cyber functions. Insert cyber spa uh, space jack. Yes. That's what I meant to say. Uh, I'm assuming this is what it is. It, yeah, it, it's only new item in here. It looks kind of funky. I can see like the, the virtual reality kind of... Hey can pass as a headset, I suppose. That's the cyberspace jack. All right, that's fine. Let's uh, let's plug it in. Yeah, I had to fit. Uh, kind of figured it was a virtual reality headset, and that's strange. It's literally a highway or freeway. A high freeway. That's uh, wow. Didn't expect this, but it is virtual reality, so. Anything is possible. Let's take a look around. Okay. Let's bend the... <laughs> the uh, fabric of space and time. Or... Just turn upside down. That's fine. What does this say? Birdseed? Hey, free birdseed! And so conveniently placed under a huge boulder, too! Great! Let's not stand under it. <laughs> that would be ill-advised. Wait, hold on. Can I actually get a death out of this? Let me just save first. Uh, save it as... Um, what does the upside down world, or similar to that, remind me of? Oh! Inception. Okay, uh, so can we... <laughs> it wouldn't be... Forget... Take the bird seat? Forget it. You don't resemble that bird. Well, except for the pin feathers in those chicken legs of yours. Oh, oh, shut up. <laughs> I'm had it with your snarky attitude, narrator. Okay. Ooh, wow. Okay, we're going sideways now. Great. I imagine this can get pretty complex, but I'm pretty sure there's only one route. <laughs> so. Yeah. Maybe complex for Roger, but for us, we can see everything, so we know there's no other routes. Make your way, Raj. Take your time. In fact, you know, for this segment alone, I'm pretty sure we're not going to bump into any 
uh, timed segments. So let's go ahead and bring up the speed a little bit. We're at 72, remember that. Okay, 72. Oh, whoa! <laughs> nice. Super speed. Roger. On the go. See how much better that is. <laughs> I'm tempted to keep it, the game at this speed, but at the same time, there are going to be segments where we are timed, so... <laughs> we gotta be careful. What's over here? Ah, okay. Even got some points out of it. Office. That's what we want. Oh. Pardon our dust. Future site of the information superhighway. Executive offices. Open... What? <laughs> Open 34... Uh, 345? Uh, never. Why? Okay, uh, grab this. Bet you can't fit that thing in your pants. You don't know that. Guess I was wrong. It Whoa. does fit. <laughs> there must be plenty of spare room in there. Nice. Uh, well, let's grab more stuff then. It's as useless to you as it is where it stands. I guess, uh, touche. <laughs> don't pick at it. You'll only make it worse. Why? It's a rag. Um, bucket. There's nothing you can do now. It did have potential at one time. Probably still does, but in, unless that's dried cement, then in which case it's probably stuck to the ground. What's this? N no commentary. <laughs> uh, eyes. It's the screwdriver you found outside the cyberspace trailer. Mm. You mean where I am right now? <laughs> okay. That's mm. All right, let's uh, take a look into the office. Whoa! Okay. Poor guys. Okay, uh, save. We'll call this... Windows 9 to 5. Um, okay. Well, we're in the super, <laughs> super highway office now. We can talk to Sis Innie. Why am I... Next. I'm not getting the uh, uh, reference here. Is maybe it's just a name? <laughs> I could be wrong. Does your number match the one shown by the counter? Maybe. No, uh, I don't seem to have that one. But oh, I am sorry, sir. Strangely enough, there's no provision for buts in this system. But you either have the number shown or you do not. Mm. Now, please await the calling of your number. Thank you very much. I have important things to do. I always imagined that was like Flo's voice, what they would go go with if um uh if Space Quest Five had voice acting and <laughs> didn't rely on me to do all the talking for it. Um You drool in that direction, but no one notices. I kinda wanted to see if this guy would talk. But he doesn't look very you know, alive. Um, okay, and this guy looks even less alive. Next. Hey, don't put your mouth on that. Th that's a good idea, but I was actually just trying to talk to him, but thank you. Uh, let's take a number. And, uh... You saw it here first. A preview of the famed Information Superhighway. Indeed. Wow. <laughs> okay, great. Um... Got a Owen Wilson fan here. Uh, okay, so what can we do with that number we have? Let's take a look. All right, we're at number three. That's actually not a long wait. It's the number three card you took from the card dispenser. But it doesn't look like the line's going to be moving anytime soon. So, um, oh, wait a minute. Can we... Ah, cheating the system. Excellent. All right, let's uh, quickly before the number changes again. Gimme. Or here. Does your number match the one shown by the counter? Yes. As a matter of fact, I do possess that number. Read it and weep, pixel woman. Let's hope that number doesn't change. Oh no, you can't possibly. No, here. Oh. Well, I guess you're right. Yes. You bet your palette, little 32 by palette. 32 pixel mama. <laughs> oh. 
Oh. Oh, no. Oh, wow. <laughs> Created a new file. Excellent. Okay. So I think there is a uh, specific task we have to get done here. Do we have to look up the, the file by name here? Because I think... The Aether I, J Aether R, and uh, S through C. Oh, wait a minute. We did a little bit of uh, research on one uh, Nigel. I almost said Nigel Thornberry, but it, it's a different Nigel. What was his? Uh, uh, Nigel Ra Rage? What was it? A Nigel. Something with an R. Let, let's go ahead and take a look, though. I'll change the speed back in just a second. Um, but it was st it started with an R. Was it Rancid? That sounds about right. Nigel Rancid. Okay, well, let's uh, see here. Man, these filing cabinets are a mess. Even I could keep them up better than this. I don't know about that, Roger. I <laughs> that file. Okay, if I remember right, it it's going to be high up. Uh, but it has to be one of these R's, so... We're gonna have to, I think, step on certain cabinets. That file. That, that, that. Might that. have to. Oh, there we go. Let's make a little stairway. Um, okay. That file. All right. So this is the one we had to look in, probably. Unless we just had to open that last one, you know, last. Man, these filing cabinets are a mess. Even I could. Here we go. Uh, Rancid, Nigel. Okay, we got it right, actually. Good stuff. Um, take a look. Pockets. Uh, look into Nigel Rancid. Nigel Rancid and his brother Singent. Oh, yeah, the, 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 the other guy that um, caught us. <laughs> uh, captured us. Uh, hired, hired thugs. <laughs> hired goons. Most recently, the Rancid brothers have been employed by Dr. Hayden Bellu. Bellux? That, that, that's the guy that is in the same room we are in, technically. Um, I think. <laughs> and Sharpay of the Golden Light Years Retirement Community on Delta Burke Salon 5. Cross-reference Bellux... Uh, I, I hope I'm saying that name right. Uh, Sharpay Santiago. Okay. Hmm. Looks like interesting reading. All right. That, that's good stuff. Well, let's look into those files as well, then. Bellux, Sharpay, Santiago. We'll start with B, and then get the other two done in the same go. I cannot believe that they, the, the game, uh, is having you do file research, but uh, there is a purpose to this, so, um, don't mind, don't mind that. It's actually relatively quick, if I remember right. Oh, boy. Okay, uh, Bellix. That's fine. That. That can we that 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 here we go. Oh wow, <laughs> it's low enough at least. Uh, Belx, Doctor H, Hayden, right? Yeah. All right, let's take a look. Doctor Hayden Belx is the chief medical administrator of uh, the Golden Light Years retirement retirement community. He has gained much notoriety over his controversial efforts to mitigate the effects of some say oh some say to altogether eliminate aging I don't think that's possible um but who knows it it's it's a sci-fi game I guess uh and then Sharpe Santiago do we have to put those back I kind of doubt it but can we actually look at different names too? It feels slightly gritty. You suppress an urge to dust it. Mm. Maybe it. Yeah, they aren't gonna let you look at things that are um, unnecessary. Okay, so we got Sharpe and Santiago in the same aisle. That file. Good stuff. Oh, of course. That file. Okay. So, climb on top. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, Sharpe and uh, Santiago is going to be a di different drawer. Okay. Take a look while we're <laughs> maintaining our balance here. 
Um, so, Sharpay. Uh, a philanthropist of the First Order. Hmm. First Order. That very Star Wars-y. <laughs> um, this... Oh, actually, this is well ahead of its time, though. The First Order was, um... What was it? Uh, uh, Force Awakens, which is 2015, I think it came out? And this was 1996. Holy crap. Star Wars ripped off Space Quest VI. Um... <laughs> <laughs> or Disney Star Wars did. This benefactress of many good causes is known throughout the universe simply as Sharpay. Sharpay most recently pro most recent project has been Golden Light Years Retirement Community on Delta Burke Salon 5, where she hopes to spend her declining years. Well, declining years in a hospital bed where she allegedly blew up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> always thinking of others this grand lady I wouldn't put it that way but they, maybe they didn't know we will leave a legacy of charitable works behind her wherever she goes and explosive material um, cross reference Bello and Santiago okay so we got one left get on down respect Roger I, I, I can't even do that you know the backward stepping like that that's I don't know, maybe that's not too difficult. Maybe I'm just too weak. That fire. That fire. <laughs> Here we go. Where's uh, Santiago? Here we go. Chile, Santiago. You summon the ability to leave it alone. Oops, there are two Santiago's. Stellar. <laughs> My mistake. I didn't even bother looking. Um, Corman, Stellar Santiago, was a member of the Starcon fleet before her departure. Uh, departure from this world while attempting to rescue Janitor Second Class. Wow, they really do update these pretty quickly, right? <laughs> pretty nuts. Um, who was stationed aboard the SCS Deep Ship 86. I can't do the voice. Um, cross-reference, Sharpay and Bello. Bellix. Um, additional cross-reference, Project Immortality. Okay. Or right, let's take a, look, take a look at that. Project Immortality. Would that be under I or P? Let's try P first. This has to be like the last file, I'm pretty that sure. That file. That. Oh uh, yeah, that kind of stood out a little bit. I get it. Okay, let's do this. Um, General Drawer. You get the I. General Drawer. You. Oh. Hold on. Do you have to open more doors? General draw you. Uh, crap. We had to create a couple more steps first. I'm surprised we couldn't pull the drawer out from here. From there, at least. Okay. So that either going to be in here or there. So let's go ahead and get on up. Oh, of course. <laughs> the highest drawer. Project Immortality. All right, let's take a look and see what that has to say. Also, I want to try something before we continue here. The holy grail of narcissists everywhere. <laughs> Project Immortality is, Immortality is the cold hard scientific name applied to the cold hard science uh, that is found in the f fountain of youth of our times. Project Immortality is funded by Sharpay. Not really surprised, even though she looked pretty old. So I guess she didn't follow through with her research. And overseen by controversial Dr. Hayden Bellows. Uh, it promises humankind to uh, the hope of the ages, eternal life. Sure, <laughs> sure makes marriage a scary proposition, though, doesn't it? Cross-reference, end game. I don't think we actually have to look up that file, though. Um, okay, I think we have everything we need. We can always look up end game. Well, I kind of doubt that's a thing. You know what? I have an idea. First things first. We're gonna save and uh, we're gonna call it um, Project Immor. Am I getting, getting that right? Yeah. Immortal. Yeah. Immort. 
I, I'm reading it like letter for letter so I don't get those wrong. <laughs> Immortality. Yes. Okay, good. Sometimes that scares me. Don't do that. Lighting fixture. Okay, let's look up endgame and then I want to try one more thing here. Endgame. Alright. That 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 Learn how to spell that me. That 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 Are you kidding? That 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 Okay, I guess we are done here then. Um, okay, yeah, I want to try one more thing. Let's see. So let's load Windows 95. All right, I'll take our number. She probably should have saved a little bit later on uh, after this, so. Uh, then pockets, use these one screwdriver. On here. It probably see that. There we go. Should be right on the pixel. I want to see what it looks like to grab Project Immortality first. Because there might be something more to it there. Um, give to her. Does Okay, we can uh skip all the dialogue mumbo jumbo. Jump on this, into the, the file room. That looks plenty violent. Uh, okay, so first things first. Project Immortality. That would be right at the top here. Uh, okay, drawers. That drawer. That 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 drawer. That that file. Oh. That file. Wait. That that that. It's Project Immortality. What the heck? Maybe it can't that open. That 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 that. Hold on. That Where was it? <laughs> Need it further down here. That file. Oh, here we go. Okay. Wait, no. Um. Which one to be? Hold on. That, that, that. It wouldn't be an R. Oh, wait. Okay, we have to. Um. Rancid Nigel. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I, I, I forgot exactly where it was, so. It is further. Or earlier down here, so let's that, see. That, 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 Check that drawer, them. that drawer, that drawer, that, 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 that drawer isn't even close to a drawer. Oh, oh, okay. You have to get rancid first. Stupid game, or stupid me. I ran to Nigel. I guess we yeah, had to look at it first. Okay, now we'll get that project project immortality. I keep almost saying project purity because I recently have been playing Fallout Three. We still have to continue that on this that channel. That, um, that here we go. Maybe we'll get something funny here if we grab the project immortality first without having the proper knowledge now 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 what have we here you haven't found the clue to this file's existence yet somehow you know but perhaps subtracting a few hundred points from your score will teach you no not the points oh yeah, yeah, yeah. cheaters never prosper winners don't use drugs oh yay he <laughs> gave him back sweet really uh, great. <laughs> Just a little Easter egg. I got it. Um, okay. So, got that. He gives us all of our points back except for the six. So, I, I, I get it. I get it. Um. <laughs> so, there's a small penalty. Uh, let's go ahead and head out then. I Excuse think me, Mr. Wilco. Those are reference files only and not available for loan. You may leave but the folders will remain here. Oh. Oh, crap. Um. All right, good thing we saved. I do have to keep those files somehow. Hold on. All right, let's get back to that room and don't leave. Oh, the printer. Yes, okay, we'll make copies. Um, let's see, uh, start off with Bello Bellux. The cyber printer accepts your cyber file gratefully and begins to print. The question is, 
What exactly is the output of a cyber printer? Probably something like a TXT file. Next. Hmm. I don't think anybody's coming, <laughs> lady. Uh, Santiago. I like how it looks like it tears it up, but it's really just digitizing away. <laughs> All right. Mortality, immortality? Not mortality. We already figured out mortality. <laughs> okay. And uh, I think there's one more. Yes. The bitch, Sharpe. Well, what do you know? Maybe there is something to this superhero reputation thing after all. Indeed. And after that episode with the egg beater, I thought you'd never impress me again. Yeah, that one took a while. <laughs> it took some time. Uh, okay, so I think we got everything we need here. And we had to get back to Dr. Bellix and talk to him about... Uh, uh, about Sharpay. Get some answers. Um... Sharpay. Okay. Next. Mm, yeah. Not <laughs> the two guys who are <laughs> waiting in line are. It's gonna be a while. I like the entire AOL instant message uh, sound effect when you leave. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay. So let's see here. Oh, wait a minute. That huge plank that we put in our pockets earlier. How far does it extend? Because this does seem like quite a gap. You Never smartly mind. drop the board in <laughs> place, spanning the gap between the two bridge sections. Okay. Something tells me we don't have to come back here, but that is kind of cool to give you a little bit of a shortcut. It's pretty sweet. Hey! Was that a Mega Man X sound effect? Probably a stock sound effect that Mega Man X used, but still, it sounds familiar. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I said I wanted to switch the uh, speed back to normal, so let's go 72. And uh, we'll save over Sharpay while we're here. Um, do I have to show the little documents right here? Actually, let's look at them first. These are the printouts of the files you've collected from cyberspace as evidence against Dr. Bellows. It's Bellows. Uh, I, I kind of figured, but... Ah, whatever. <laughs> I got it wrong the whole time. Take a look at this! Well, Dr. Bellows, I think you've got some explaining to do. You're out of your mind, Wilco. Yes, I am. So, what do you have to say for yourself now, Doctor? Confronted with the facts found in the files you located, he freaks and spills all. Nice. Spill those oh, beans. Uh, my eloquently stated. <laughs> I I didn't think this all the way through until I'd crossed my own personal ethical line. I was already It had already gone too far. The experiments alone. I thought I could do just this one thing and still live with myself. You could just say, I didn't Love mean to can do move it. a person to do some One strange sentence. things, Wilco. <laughs> she knew how I felt and used it to her advantage. Just say... I think I know what you mean about that love thing, I didn't but, but do wait it, a minute. Or I didn't Slow know how, what's, what's going on. Are you saying you have the hots for... I, I mean, you are actually romantically intrigued by Sharpay? Wow. You are serious. Well, he doesn't look like a looker himself. I agree that love can make you do some weird stuff. In this case, though, it made you do some stuff that was unethical and illegal, Doctor. Usually one's bad Where enough. is Stellar Santiago? I know she was alive, that her death was faked. What have you done with her? Great Caesar's ghost. The woman, she's still alive, but I'm afraid not much time remains. She is. What do you mean, not much time remains? As you must you're realize by now, the Golden Light Years project was merely a front for the research I'd been conducting per Sharpay's wishes. Sharpay. She is intensely fearful of death, 
You probably didn't notice that she is getting up in age a bit. A little bit. Yeah. Who could have guessed that? In very simple terms, Janitor Wilco. That's janitor second class, pal. And don't you forget it. I deal with trash cans now, Excuse too. me, janitor second class. As I was saying, Sharpe feared dying, enough to take the lives of others to save her own. She knew I loved her. I remember the day I met her. Flashback? It was at the funeral of... Oh, I believe it was her fourth husband, and I remember never having seen her look so radiant. I fell for her, hard, and she knew it. You should have seen her in black. I don't want to I'll see her pass, at all. thanks. Yeah. Just tell me about Stellar. Okay. The bottom line is that I have developed a way to extend Sharpay's life by transferring her mental essence into the body of another. Mm -hmm. It was to be you until your friend Stellar Santiago got in the way. We thought no one would miss you. Go figure. <laughs> okay. What I have done is to employ nanotechnology to take over the designated host body, as is happening with your friend as we speak. Yes. Stellar's what? body is being taken over by Sharpay? Jeez, I don't understand. Is there anything we could do to stop it? No. I've never really <laughs> thought of it that way. Why not? Well, think about it now. We have to save Stellar. You can't let her die. You can redeem yourself at least to some degree, Doc. <laughs> to some as degree. As much as yes. it pains me to admit it, you're right, Roger. You're right. Okay, I think I may have a plan. We can save her. There are some interesting spin-off technological breakthroughs. I'm going to send you in to stop Sharpay. Spin-off breakthroughs? Say what? No, uh, I, I don't think... It's her only chance. If you seriously care for your friend, you'll do this. I have to. Oh, the only way, huh? The only way. <laughs> well... How about you? Okay, then. I hope you're sure about this. I'm positive. Here's how we shall go about it. You will move your shuttle into Lab B. Meanwhile, I will generate new software for your shuttle's navigational system, which will help you locate the nanites, the very small robotic devices I developed for the intrusion. One of them is Sharpay. Ah. If you can stop Sharpay, well, your friend's chances of survival improve immensely. Then. Then, once I have located and extracted you, I shall work to repair whatever damage may have been done to Stella during the attempted incursion. I don't like the way he emphasized extracted you. Don't blow me up, Doc. Oh. The shuttle is nicely miniaturized by the beam deal. Beam Hopefully, deal. it is reversible. Perhaps you should have asked about that. There are some things you can't afford to have smaller. Oh, yeah. Probably. <laughs> oh, man. Hear those shoes. <laughs> you can tell they're dress shoes, but they're red. I never see red dress shoes before. <laughs> Oh, that's so weird. I don't like that devious look on you got on your face, bud. Uh, this feels very nefarious. <laughs> don't mess with us, Doc. I can't look. <laughs> I know, I, I'm bad with needles. Oh. Okay, luckily we didn't see anything. <laughs> Alright. So we're in a vein right now. Got it. Okay. 
Okay, careful with the landing. <laughs> okay, we did it. We made it into her system. Okay, I had forgotten that this was a, was a thing, but and now a lot of it's kind of flooding, flooding back to my memory. Um, so let's go ahead and stand up here. And we're going to actually have to end the episode now. Um, but you know what that means. In the next episode, we will be experiencing the finale. Because this is really the... <laughs> I guess it is the end game. Like what they were <laughs> alluding to in the file. Um, and yeah. <laughs> so in the next episode, we will, we will complete Space Quest Six, And um, <laughs> if everything works out the way as I have planned... We're going to go into another space quest immediately following that. So let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, <laughs> still have the finale to do. So with that being said, I want to thank you all for watching. This has been another episode of Cyber Dan Play Space Quest 6. And I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good night, everyone.